Hi guys, this is Jenna. Today we're gonna go over lesson 38 for second grade. So today we're starting with missing numbers. So let's go over one example for this, number two. It says 125 plus blank equals 213. Oops. This is the question we're working on. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to find what we have to add to 125 to get to 213. So we're trying to find the difference between 125 and 213 in order to get to 213. So one way you can do this is visualize it like this. We can subtract 125 from both sides. Now 125 minus 125, that just equals zero. And then we'll bring this plus blank down. Equals, now we have to subtract. Three minus five, we have to regroup. So we'll take one from here. 13 minus five equals eight. The 10 supposed to be at zero minus two. Again, we're gonna to have to regroup. Two becomes one, now we have 10 minus two, which is eight again. In the hundreds place, we have one minus one, which is just zero. So it says zero plus blank equals 88. Now we can just forget about that zero. It says blank equals 88. So now we know this blank just equals 88. Now if you wanna try adding and see if it works, we can do that. 125 plus 88. We'll see if we get 213, if the number sentence is true. We have five plus eight, which equals 13. And then in the tens place, we have one plus two, which equals three. Three plus eight equals 11. One goes here, move it to the hundreds. We have one plus one, which equals two. 213, 213. Now we know we did it right. You don't necessarily have to do this entire step right here, this step. You just have to figure out whether you're going to subtract or whether you're going to add. So here we're going from a small number to a bigger number, but this is our end product right here. So in order to get to this sum, we're going to have to subtract to see which two add-ins make up that sum. Now let's go on to skip counting. Number four, we have the numbers 100, 96, 92, and then blank, blank, blank. So let's just find the pattern first with the numbers that were given here. Let's subtract because we're going from a big number to a smaller number. So let's subtract 196. In the ones place we have zero minus six, since we can't do that, we'll regroup. Technically we have a 10 here, so we'll just take that 10, subtract one, 10 becomes a nine. And now we have 10 minus six in the ones place, which is four. And then in the tens place, we have nine minus nine, which is just zero. So to go from here to here, you just need to subtract four. 100 minus four equals 96. Now let's see if that's the same pattern here. 96 to 92. We know that we're going from a smaller number to a bigger number to a smaller number, so we're going to be subtracting. Now let's do 96 minus 92. In the ones place, we have six minus two, which equals four. In the tens place, we have nine minus nine, which is just zero, so just four. So we move down four. 100 minus four equals 96. 96 minus four equals 92. So now we know the pattern here. We're going to be subtracting four from each number to get to the next one. So now let's do this right here. 92 minus four to find the next number. Oops. This one right here. We're going to do 92 minus four to find this number right here. Let me erase this.
the ones place we have two minus four, so we'll have to regroup. Comes eight. Twelve minus four equals eight. And then in the tens place we have eight minus nothing. Just bring it down. In the tens place we have another eight, so that's eighty-eight. Ninety-two minus four equals eighty-eight. Now let's do eighty-eight minus four to find this number. Let's just subtract four directly from here. 8 minus 4 equals 4. There's nothing under the tens place. We'll just bring it down. The next number is 84. So what we're doing is we're following the pattern of subtracting 4 to get to the next number. Lastly, we have to do 84 minus 4 to find this number. Subtract 4 one last time. 4 minus 4 equals 0. We'll bring, just bring down this 8 in the tens place. 80. So we found out the last three numbers in this number pattern by figuring out that we're subtracting 4 from each number to get to the next one, and we got 88, 84, and 80. Now let's do subtraction. We'll start with number 2. We have 352 minus 98. Again, we'll just rewrite the numbers on the side so we can stack them. Make sure to line up your ones place. We have two eight, two eight lined up, five nine, five nine lined up, and then three, and then there's nothing here, three, and nothing is under there. Then let's subtract. That's if, sorry if the, num the colors were a little confusing, but let's start. Two minus eight in the ones place, since we can't do that, we're going to have to regroup. Take a ten and move that to the ones place. Now we have twelve minus eight, which equals four. The tens place, since we can't do four, since we can't do four minus nine, we're going to have to take a hundred and make that fourteen minus nine, which equals five. And then in the hundreds place, we have two minus nothing, which is just two. So the answer to this is two hundred fifty-four. Let's do number five. We have five hundred five minus two hundred ninety-two. Let me erase this. And then again, let's look at the ones place. Five minus two, this is just three. In the tens place, you have zero minus nine. Since you can't do that, we're going to have to regroup. Take a hundreds. Now the zero becomes a 10 instead. 10 minus nine equals one. Hundreds place, we have four minus two, which is two. And the answer to this is 213. And that's how you solve this page. And lastly, we'll go over word problems number three. It says, Carmen and five friends cut cake slices so each person can get one piece. What fraction of the cake did Carmen get? So remember fractions, we have a number on the top. This is a numerator. That's how many pieces we're looking at. And we have the number on the bottom. This is the, no the denominator. And this is the total number of pieces. So they cut cake slices so each person can get one piece. So we have to find how many people there are. There's Carmen and five friends. If we add that, one plus five equals six. So there's six people. And now we're looking at the fraction of the cake Carmen gets. It says each person can get one piece. Carmen is one person, so Carmen is going to get one slice of cake. So we have one slice of cake out of six total slices. So the fraction is one over six. One over six. That's the answer. And thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful.